previous video about Lil Durk being banned. Um, it's in my my opinion, on my whole take and my whole tone when I was presenting that video was I think he just wanted more than what he was getting. After going down his Instagram and I know pictures with Lil Durk don't mean nothing, but Lil Durk he he's very photogenic man. He loves to take pictures with everybody and show he really on his block. I don't think the connection between this dude and Lil Durk was ever that strong. So honestly, I believe that just correct me if I'm wrong. You know, like I'm saying, if you watch this, Marco, I'm not directing this at you, saying you's a hater or anything, but just like I said, you know, on that from the outside looking in, and when you put, made this post right here, when you told you said Dirk can't come on his block till he apologized for that bitch shit, then you turn around and said it ain't no beef. So whatever initially happened, you think Lil Durk did some fool shit. And what I think that shit was, was something directly to do with him. I don't think it has nothing to do with Tate Town, Lamron, whatever block um, Lil Durk is supposed to be showing love to, because he does do that. If you see every chance he comes to Chicago, he at least make it look good. I'm not behind the scenes, and I can't tell you Lil Durk donate money to all these guys' pockets, but I know he make it really look good. And just like Chief Keith, everybody has a circle that they're going to take with them, and unfortunately, Marco, you wasn't part of that circle. So when people on the outside looking in, as far as on the winner's circle, if you ain't a part of that, then it's like you ain't a part of nothing. And honestly, I believe that since Marco was being cut out of the benefits, because like I said, I don't think him and Lil Durk relationship was that strong, and then it turned into a thing, well, well, Lil Durk ain't been doing nothing for his block. And usually when a lot of people say that, because you know Lil Durk been looking out for the block. He come back every year, probably more than that. He brought a million dollars to the hood, a million dollars worth of game as well. So for the fact that you say Lil Durk ain't doing nothing for his block, and it's proof that he has been showing love. That just shows me that you want something directly from Lil Durk. You know what I mean? From the fact that you went from trying to ban, AKA ban, I said AKA, excuse me, man, it's been a long day. You went from trying to ban Lil Durk, which you realized you couldn't really do because he got more money than you, me, the people watching. You couldn't really do that, and that couldn't hold no weight because Lamron loved Durk, Taytown loved Durk. You can't really ban him from those areas. And, um, Especially now, he got too much money, man. And then so it turns into a thing where you had to retract and be like, it ain't no beef. I just want him to pretty much show the stuff that he's been rapping about. And that's kind of like a Cairo take on it. You remember when Cairo was exposing Herb, saying Herb don't look out for the block. It seemed like this is the, the route that Marco tried to take. Not sure if it's true or not. But like I said, I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. I just believe that he wants something directly from Dirk, regardless if it's a shout out or feature. Because Lil Dirk most definitely taking care of the hood, man. And, you know, you keep going, look at his Instagram. His name is, uh, I think it's John Morant, um, Lamron, uh, Lamron Marco underscore 300. Y'all can go. You can be your own.